Welcome to Lima Capsule Show. This is our second episode and we have Dr. Anirudh here. Anirudh is an advanced laparoscopic surgeon specialized in upper GI and bariatric surgery. Today he is going to explain in detail about how heartburn is a serious issue and what we could do to find out permanent solution. So welcome Dr. Anirudh. What is this heartburn and why do we get this heartburn? Okay, uh, good morning everybody. Uh, good morning, Jay. Uh, foremost and first, the most important thing that you're going to learn here is that heartburn as such, though the name says heartburn, it's actually a misnomer. That means it's wrongly named. It's actually a condition arising where the chest hurts and not the heart. So heartburn is a disorder of the esophagus or the foot pipe. So the most important thing that you have to know is that the stomach is the organ which is just below the esophagus and that produces a large amount of acid which has a specific direction of flow and this direction of flow is always downwards or forwards and it should not go backward or upward towards the esophagus and this is maintained like a one-way traffic road this one-way traffic is maintained by what is known as a physiological valve between the foot pipe and the stomach. So that directs the traffic downwards and makes sure this acid does not flow backwards. So if there is a defect in this mechanism, the acid which is supposed to be in the stomach and goes further down, hits up further and starts hitting and hammering the esophageal mucosa, otherwise the inner lining of the foot pipe. And that's when you get this condition called as heartburn. So in uh, medical terms it's called as acid reflux disease. So this is an acid reflux. So uh, uh, why does this even happen to most of us? Okay, uh, of late there is a rising trend in almost every part of the world. And uh, studies have shown that in India the prevalence is nearly 25 to 30 percent. Similarly in US and Europe also it's around 27 percent on an average. So that's, that means nearly one in four or one in three in most parts of the world are suffering from this heartburn disease. So, uh, is the food habits of the changing generation is the reason why a heartburn is happening to most of us? That's one of the main factors in contributing to this disease going up in such, uh, uh, fast, at fa such a fast rate. So, the increasing changes in lifestyle, the availability of junk food in most places, the availability of carbonated drinks, alcohol, uh, smoking and in many parts of India and North India, pan masala chewing and then several other day-to-day uh, like -day drinks and uh, food items like yeah, junk that. food, coffee, tea, practically anything can aggravate heartburn. Okay, that looks like pretty serious. It is. Now, uh, now a, lot of, there are a lot of people are increasingly facing a heartburn and a lot of death is also happening due to it in the recent uh, past. But uh, not many are able to differentiate between a chest pain and a uh, burn, burning sensation. Yes. Now how close are these two and how do you even differentiate between these two? Okay, an interesting statistic here is that nearly 50% of all patients who suffer from some kind of a chest pain who get admitted or go to the emergency to a cardiac wing or any cardiac OP they are found to have, uh, nearly 50% of them are found to have a disease pertaining to the esophagus or the foot pipe and probably not the heart. But then again, you cannot rule out any chest pain saying it's most likely due to the esophagus. So whatever the cause of chest pain, you'll have to identify it and you'll have to investigate it thoroughly to get the clear idea whether it's arising from the heart or from the foot pipe or from the lungs by itself. So in that emergency period, that crucial hour, you have to investigate everything else thoroughly to clinch the diagnosis, to find out where this pain is coming from. So how much of duration that would take? Because an emergency patient, when they come for a, you know, uh, with four hours of a heart burning uh, sensation, with a prehistory of uh, various diabetic and high BP and other uh, uh, conditions, now, uh, how much time it will take and how much of your effort would save a, a patient and moving them into a cardiology or into a uh, gastric surgery? 
domicile. Okay, so when a patient comes with such symptoms to the emergency department, you it's most important that you know that the heart burn as such, or if it's a problem arising from the foot pipe or the lung, that may not kill the patient. But what would kill the patient is if it is a massive cardiac arrest or a heart attack or any other condition to do with the heart. So the first thing that should be investigated should be the heart. So you always have to do an emergency cardiology workup by doing specific uh, simple blood tests to show you cardiac enzymes, an emergency ECG, an echocardiogram and get a cardiologist involved. So that's the first thing which you should do. So you should rule out the presence of any cardiac disease. And once you do that, then you can uh, investigate further into the foot pipe and the lung subsequently. But the most important emergency treatment always has to be given. The priority has to be given to the heart first. To the heart first. Yes. Now, as a lay person, what should they do when they are, uh, you know, facing these kind of continuous vomiting sensation, come uh, continuous burning sensation, when they are not too sure whether it is a heart attack or a heart burn? Mm -hmm. Uh, how do the patient uh, should react and what steps they should do apart from uh, no rushing to the hospital and meeting a cardiologist? Okay. Uh, most of these patients would have some kind of prior history of a heart burn or esophageal disorder. So when those patients have it, they will know to some extent, the, they will be able to differentiate the type of pain. And many of the patients who get uh, heart disease such as uh, cardiac arrest or an MI or some kind of heart problem, they it will be more sudden though they will have risk factors like smoking and uh, history of hypertension or some cholesterol disease still uh, whatever it is it's important to get it 